Just in the last hour, the civil trial centering around writer E. Jean Carroll's defamation case against former President Trump wrapping up for the day. Uh, these are the sketches from the inside of the courtroom look that we just got. You see the former president there sitting behind E. Jean Carroll. He was there earlier listening carefully to the jury selection process before he then left in the afternoon for his New Hampshire rally. His lawyers argued in opening statements that Carol got the status and the attention she wanted after then-President Trump, quote, stood up for himself against assault allegations, accusations back in 2019. But remember, a separate jury has already found the former president liable for sexually abusing and defaming Carol. That's not what these two sides are arguing today. The jury is really about deciding how much Mr. Trump owes Carol in damages for doing that. Rahima Ellis is watching the trial. She joins us now as well from New York. And uh, let's remind the audience one more time, because he's got so many trials and allegations and charges going on. This is not the New York fraud trial. That's separate. This is the defamation trial. It's hard to keep straight sometimes, right? And Carol's lawyer today told the jury that the most powerful man on the planet ruined her reputation. Yeah, it's true. These trials are coming back to back. In fact, they're side to side. Federal court here uh, and the civil trial on his fraud uh, case in terms of uh, his business dealings is just on the next corner. But that's a bench trial. This is a jury trial. Nine people seated today. And part of what was going on was there was a lot going on. What we should tell you, though, is there is no gag order in this particular case. But the judge has set up some boundaries, some guardrails, if you will, about what's going to happen here. He says that Trump and E. Jean Carroll cannot communicate with the jurors directly or indirectly. He said they cannot say anything within earshot of any jurors, and they cannot make any objections in court except through their attorneys. One attorney for Donald Trump, who is a visiting attorney, who has been a counsel to him, attempted to make a motion today. The judge shut it down really quickly and, in fact, told him to sit down, that he had no place and no standing in this particular courtroom. So a lot uh, that he has going um, up against him and damages have already been found from the first trial. Tom, it's really important to note that the judge said what you mentioned in the lead in, and that is you are not here to decide whether or not Donald, trial, Donald Trump is liable. That has already been determined. Take a look at these damages that uh, he was awarded, she was awarded, E. Jean Carroll, in terms of the first trial. Uh, damages for sexual abuse, $2 million. Punitive damage, $20 million. And it goes on and on. Uh, damage for reputation and punitive damages for defamation. This particular trial is about more punitive damages. And the judge said it's up to you to determine how much he will have to pay to punish him for making remarks about E. Jean Carroll that are defamaging and in an effort to stop him from making those remarks, Tom. Uh, real quickly, Rahema, because I saw that the president, former president, is again on Truth Social, his own uh, social media uh, site, making claims again today. Uh, give us an update on the allegations that he continues to put out there regarding E. Jean Carroll, despite the fact he's already been found guilty or liable, sorry, of, of defamation. Yeah, and it was as early as this morning. He'd made statements over the weekend, just this morning, even before going into court. Upwards of 20 um, not very pleasant comments made about E. Jean Carroll, as well as the judge in this case, the very case itself. Uh, and he is expected to testify, or he says he would like to testify. The judge has said that he would allow him to do that on Monday because he says he wants, uh, former President Trump wants to be at his mother-in-law's funeral on Thursday. But if he does take the witness stand, the judge has said he will not be allowed to say what he has been repeatedly saying in public, disparaging E. Jean Carroll, and that he didn't, he can't say that he didn't sexually abuse her, and he can't say that she's making up these allegations up and accusations. He's got a lot going on up against him at this point. Look at the yeah. full screen of all of the cases that the former president has to address. It goes from um, the criminal trial of the January 6th probe, the criminal documents trial, the question of E. Jean Carroll, the civil fraud lawsuit, 
the Georgia election probe, the hush money trial, the Colorado ballot ruling, ruling the main ballot. I can, you know, you can hardly read them all. There's so much that the former president is facing. I don't know how he keeps track of it all. Well, 91 I guess the charges. Party has good lawyers. Yeah, exactly. 91 charges. We're in the news media business, and sometimes it's hard for us to keep track of them all. Um, the judge also laid out a timeline today, right, for what the first few days of the case will look like. I understand three to five days is how long the trial would last. In theory, how would the, the timeline affect the trial here? And, and I'm sorry, most important Are, point, is Trump going to testify? Yeah, it... it they say he is. They even say he's going to be back here at this courthouse tomorrow. Not sure, but they say watch social media. Uh, we're always given um, prompts, if you will, about what the former president will or won't do. But we're always constantly watching. Uh, three to five days, as you point out, that means if he does testify on Monday, we're looking at certainly five days, this being Tuesday in terms of court uh, cases. I think court days. I think that this case probably will wrap up early next week. This is a no-nonsense judge. He's been known for moving cases along. He moved this trial along in terms of even selecting a jury. He made certain that the jury was seated today, that opening arguments began today, and that testimony looks like that's going to begin tomorrow. So, again, she's seeking $10 million in this particular suit. Her, her, her attorneys are saying it could take two to five days. The fence is saying they could take one and a half days. A couple of witnesses to be called. And again, as we say, Trump himself might be testifying in this case. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.